Welcome to the Joy of Development. This is episode three of our VR snowboarding project. In this episode, we're going to be getting started on our character's controls. Since this is a VR project, I decided to use the motion of your hands to control the rotation of the snowboard. Since the previous episode, you'll notice that we've added some new macros, new functions, and new variables. To get started, we're going to check our normals to see if we're grounded or airborne, and then execute the appropriate behavior. Now let's jump into our airborne or grounded macro and start getting things set up. Our first task in here is to check whether any ground was detected or not. We can easily do this by checking if the length of our normals array is equal to zero. If the length is zero, there was no ground detected and the character is airborne. So we'll grab our output node and execute the appropriate behavior. If the character is grounded, however, we first want to set our average floor normal. And for that, all we have to do is use the node get vector array average. After that, this macro is all set. We're going to compile, save, and get started on our air control. The first thing we're going to be doing here is rotating our snowboard. Grab a set relative rotation node and set its target to the snowboard. And we'll be taking our next macro, lerp board rotation yaw, and plugging that into the new yaw. And before we move on with air controls, we're going to set up this macro. We're going to need to get the snowboard's relative rotation and the yaw from hands. Yaw from hands is another macro, and we'll get into that in just a second. First, we're going to move on to getting the absolute delta rotation of the yaws. For that, we're going to need a delta rotator. We'll plug in the two yaws like so. And on the output yaw, run it through an absolute value node. We then want to divide that number by our rotation rate divisor. When set at 180, the resulting value will be between 0 and 1. That's because the farthest you can be rotated away is 180 degrees. I prefer using higher values because I think they provide a smoother, more gradual change. Finally, we're going to lerp between the two yaws and provide the final result. Plug in the yaws like so, and attach our new alpha. Also make sure that the interpolation is set to shortest path. Now this one's mostly finished. We'll compile, save, and get to work on board rotation yaw from hands. First we'll need the relative location of our back and front hands. We'll need our hand positions variable and two find nodes. Plug them in like so. Then we'll refresh the node so we can enter its key manually. Setting the first to back and the second to front, we're then going to connect them to two relative location nodes. Now we want to use that to make a rotation. So we'll use a get unit direction vector node and go from the back to the front. We'll plug that into a make a rotation from X and all we need from there is its yaw value. So go ahead and take your output node and plug that in. Compile, save, and that's all set. If we preview the game, you can see you can now move your hands around to control the rotation of the snowboard. Our character's been stuck up in the sky this whole time, so let's add some gravity and bring him down. Back in our air control function, we're going to take our gravity constant variable and multiply it by a vector of down 1 on the z-axis. We're then going to add that to our character movement's velocity and set the resulting value to the character movement's new velocity. I've set my gravity constant to 15, but feel free to play around with this. Now we'll compile, save, and preview the game, and you can see we immediately start falling out of the sky. But our board doesn't twist when it's on the ground, and it's clipping. These issues will both be fixed in the ground controls. We're going to postpone finishing air controls until another video and for now start working on the ground control. Our first task here is unifying the rotations, inverting the roll. For this, we'll be using these two macros, the second we've already worked on, and the first we'll get started on in just a minute. We'll invert the roll by multiplying it by negative one, and we'll set all these values to the local variable board rotation. Next, we want to set the relative rotation of the snowboard to the board rotation variable's results. From here, we're going to set up our last macro, Snowboard Roll and Pitch from Floor Normal. 
We'll take our output node and plug it into a get slope degree angles node. For the floor normal, we're going to use our average floor normal from earlier. We'll use a make vector node to make a constant up vector. And finally, we'll get the snowboard's right vector for the my right y axis pin. After that, compile, save, and we're all set. We're going to preview the game one more time to see what the snowboard's like on the ground. As before, we fall out of the sky. But now you'll notice when we hit the ground, we're still able to rotate the snowboard. And it's no longer clipping with the mountain. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Keep an eye out for the next one where we'll be finishing up our character's ground controls. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and smash that like button.